So, most of you have seen Rush, right? Fantastic movie about the back and forth between Lauda and Hunt. Well, you know how I've been making F1 cars? There's not a whole lot that happens in the 70s, or at least the early 70s, but I wanted to do the first cars that they raced in. So I modeled myself the March 731 and Lauda's BRM160. Now, there is a little bit more to this, and let me run you through this. Nikki Lauda here? He entered in 1971 in the predecessor in a March, much like Hunt drove later. So he had his first race in the March 711, which is this thing, or the 711. He entered once and retired once. Did not do particularly well. That was not depicted in the Rush movie. Then year two. Hunter's not around yet, and Nikki Lauda is now in the 721 from March, and this car actually does pretty poorly all around. Nikki Lauda couldn't even make this thing fast, apparently. I mean, look at it. 11th place, 7th place, a retirement, 16, 12, retirement, 9, retirement, 10, 13, and a disqualification, and a NC? I don't know what NC stands for. It's not actually here. This is meant to be the key... What? NC? What? Good job there. N nice key you've got here. So as I've shown, this car did terribly. And March in the following year moved the radiator from here to the front and rebotted the entire thing. But Lauda wasn't going to be in it. This was the March 731. Basically exactly the same car that they had last season, except by the looks of it, there's more drag probably on this vehicle and a little less downforce on the front by the looks of it too. But unlike Lauda, oh my God, Hunt, unlike anybody else, did phenomenally. So here's Nicky Ladder in his new BRM, getting like an eight, a five, a 13, a nine, 12, retire, retire, did not start, retire, retire. He was not doing well in his new car. James Hunt, on the other hand, ended only a handful of times in a car which nobody thought was any good. People thought this vehicle was actually really bad. He got a ninth, a sixth, a fourth, a third, a retirement that did not start, a seventh, and a second. Hunt was the better driver. And we're gonna actually do a little bit of a comparison now. We've got both of these mod bodies finally made here and I'm gonna race them against each other and I'm gonna have a special guest joining us. If all goes to plan, that special guest will be none other than Shiny Odd. Oh, hey, and if you're interested, him and I and Twin Turbos do a podcast together monthly. So let's start with the superior March 731, which nobody liked, apparently. Oh, my goodness. I'm also noticing this is a little too soft around the body. I might go back at some point and uh, rework this a smidge. But these mods will be available on the Automation Workshop. And if you do like this sort of stuff, please go ahead, hit that like button. And maybe if you like me enough, hit that subscribe button. But for now, we're gonna go ahead and make this thing out of fiberglass. Oh wait, hold on, we should probably set the year first. 1973, fiberglass, monocoque, made out of, and are these lighter? No, they're all exactly the same weight. So we'll go with steel, mid longitudinal. It's gonna have that great V8 in it. It's gonna have double wishbone on the front and double wishbone on the rear. Up that quality because we need to get this thing as light as possible. And I have made this engine a few times before. It has about the same amount of power. All I have to do is be able to find it. Why is there no search functionality here? There you go, the DVF March, which is what we're gonna call it. And that's about the right numbers. But let's just do a quick checkup. Hold on, do we have stats for the March 731? Probably not. Nope, nothing about horsepower on this entire page. Oh, here we go, this'll help. 465 horsepower or 347 kilowatts. It's about 60 more kilowatts. That's a lot of power. Or that's a spicy meatball. I'm just gonna turn my uh, microphone down a little bit so then hopefully that next time doesn't blow out. <laughs> oh dear. And it's also at 10,500 RPM. Uh, yeah, we got plenty of RPM to play with. So let's just up this cam profile. And with a very mild tune because for some reason naturally aspirated cars in automation currently are way overpowered. We have still got the number that we need. Do we have a red line in here? Probably not, right? We have a compression ratio of 11 to one. We're at 11.4, we should change that. We have some torque numbers here between 300 to 380, so 347, actually that's pretty good. And it should reach that somewhere around 
7,000 RPM to 8,500 RPM. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> 8,100, this is pretty on the money. I like it. Apart from the fact that the pistons are all falling to bits. So let's move along. And here is our fan diddly testy car. Let's just quickly turn that chassis off. Now you can see the things that we're allowed to morph. I've uh, done a fair chunk of stuff here. You can make it wider if you want to. You can lift that up if you want to make it taller and bring that out for a further back engine. You can lift this way up if you really, really want to. I mean, you'd have to be a bit brain <laughs> dead to do something so silly, in my honest opinion. But we're going to go ahead and reset that because currently this is by default at the sort of design in which the car originally had. It's very hard to get details for this specific car, though. Let me be very clear. This car, not a very well documented car. But let's go ahead and paint this thing. So Hunt had it mostly in white the entire time because they never had any marketing on it. Yeah, they, they didn't do particularly well, did they? And then we're gonna tint it just a little bit yellow because it, it looks yellowed in every picture I've seen of it, honestly. Then transmission ratios. Do we have that information here? Not by the looks of it. Oh, apparently it had an aluminum monocoque, but we just don't have that as an option, unfortunately. All we get is that it's a Hewland FG400 five-speed manual. Great. Oh, this is a lot of technicalities that I don't want to deal with. So we're just going to make it up and go with something that fits properly. It's probably going to be somewhere around, I don't know, 400 kilometers an hour. Ah, sounds about right, I suppose. Then probably an automatic locker. Crossplies are still the name of the game, however. But now I need to figure out the size of the tires. Yep, I can't seem to find anything on it. So I suppose my only option is to try to measure it in like a really jank kind of way. None of these are great eight photos for getting proper measurements, if I'm going to be honest. So maybe let's just try to average it out a smidge. This is saying it's somewhere around 350s. And here that looks to be something along the lines of 350s. Oh, OK, well, they're both similar. This hopefully will work out then. 350s, please. Oh. It's, it seems that I can only go up to 110s. Bugger! Well, let's increase the tire size considerably. That'll allow me to get what I want. Then what we'll do is we'll shrink it down afterwards. What I want to do now is find out what size wheel we have. About 430 millimeters. That seems to be about 700. So we down that to 700. We up this to 17. Does that look right? I suppose maybe it does. Yeah, you know what? It is pretty darn close. All right, yep, you know what, we're good with this. Yeah, that, that's what we're going to go down to. But first, what we're going to do, is we're gonna put a square here, so then we know when we brought this back down to size, or maybe a circle, actually. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to this wheel and make this thing absolutely ginormous so we can get the width we want. Now, the reason why we're making this really tall is so then we can shrink it down when we need to. 345 sound about right on the correct width. This is the sort of thing that you'll only see on drift cars nowadays, but this is what they used to do to help deal with the tire wall flex that you would get with cross plies. So we're going to make this just a little bit wider than what we need to. Then we're going to make one of these again and we're going to use this as a guide to when we shrink it to the right size. That's 345s and now let's put that up to like 375s hopefully that'll uh, do what we need to do. So first things rear tires. Tire diameter bring that down right about there is where we see it, so that's correct. Now let's do tread width down until that stretches correctly. That's decent stretch. First things first, let's try to measure the width of the front tires. 200s, and from this angle, they look to be about 200s. So we're good. 205s maybe? Gonna have to make you big as well. Gonna have to make you really big apparently to get 205 width. God, they look so big. And this wheel diameter is about 380, which is 15 inches. So we haven't gotten to the 13 inch era yet. Good news. That looks pretty good. I like. Yeah, see how low profile it is for crossfly? <laughs> That's some special work they've done. We now have our tires set up. We are now done with this. We're just going to set this to magnesium. Go with some solid discs. I don't know if they're meant to be one piston or two piston. I really don't know. Some semi-clad under tray. A whole bunch of brake airflow. Set this to basic. No entertainment. Thank you very much. No power steering. No safety. Some standard springs. Gas monotube, I suppose. And we'll set this to race. And look at that oversteer. Jesus. How low was the... Oh my god. 
<laughs> the rake on this thing is insane. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to do a little bit more tweaking here. First of which is rear right height, please. You know what, there is a little bit of a rake here, but then again, he might be breaking. It's really hard to tell. And maybe that is a little bit low. So let's turn that up just a smidge and give it a little bit of a rake towards the rear. And I think we're good. Uh, God, I love these sliders so much. They're so good. And because this doesn't quite line up because reality and game is not exactly the same thing, we now just get that to stretch right into place. Noise. So there is actually a lot of hollowness around here and it's just kind of held on with these brackets. So I think we'll just add some brackets on and this will look pretty accurate. Eh. 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 Also, that's not rounded enough, is it? I want something that looks like an actual hoop, but I don't think we have that. I suppose we should also look at tires and wheels. Wheels, specifically. And we've got that, like, six-prong sort of, uh, cool-looking wheel. Not very good with the adjectives, am I? Nope. Nope. Oh, wait, hold on. Yes. That is three, four, five, six, seven. That, that's eight-prong. It's good enough, right? So all we have to do now is change the shape of them. Easy, right? Rim center offset. Oh, actually, that is pretty easy. As for the rear, first thing we're going to do is change that concave sort of shape. And you know what? That's all done. <laughs> wow. That's surprisingly easy. Black center, silver outside. That's good. It's looking a little bit weird now. Like, it's making this look like it's even a lower profile tire than what it actually is. But there's not a lot that can be done there, I suppose. Oh yeah, hold on, I haven't painted that in yet, have I? So, for your convenience, and well, for mine, I've got that set as an ability to paint it as a grill. Isn't that fantastic? Aren't I so nice to you? But if you wanted, you could actually paint the entire thing completely transparent if you wanted to. So looking at Ethan and Hunt's car, it's mostly white and just got a few 27 decals on it, and that's pretty good, right? Aside from the whole, like, there's an oil canister off the rear, which is confusing with a reasonable wing. That is very big, and it's got one of those lips on there to, like, increase downforce, but at the cost of, like, massive amounts of drag. Now, we're only going to give this thing a few hundred kilos of downforce. That is not a lot of downforce. But these didn't make a lot of downforce either. Now, how do we attach this? Got big oil canisters, but like the engine's over here. I don't fully understand. Okay, it, it, there's not many good pictures of the rear. I've typed in March 731 rear, and then I've got a picture of the side, got a picture of the front, another picture of the front, another picture of the front. What is going on here? This is a very apparently underdocumented car. I'm doing my darndest to have a look at like anything I can see, and it's so weird. I suppose my only option is just to start working. I think one of these fit quite nicely. I have been going back and forth over this thing to try to, like, do this justice, but it just, it's so weird. It's very weird. Okay, we spent a whole bunch of time. We've got that looking about right enough. Ugh. Uh, we seem to have this exhaust glitch again is still happening. Yep, comes up to here and tries to connect to the engine. That's not right. That's not right. Let's now do the front. Wait, this front is different from other fronts. What the hell? No, this does have a split down the middle. And so does this one. I, I've missed that entirely this entire time. This is what I was imagining it looked like. There are so many different versions. I mean, look at that. If we have a look here at this absolutely minuscule picture that I can barely see. Yeah, you can see it also like comes all the way down to hold up the front split up. Or we could just get lazy and use this. Then there's a whole bunch of pinstriping, which I just oh, I don't want to deal with, honestly. And let's deal with this oversteer issue by reducing the front camber a bit. Damn, this thing just wants to oversteer, doesn't it? Well, I suppose that's fine. You know, we're going to limit this. We're going to go for about 100 kilograms on uh, the rear wing. And we'll, we'll stick the same amount of downforce on the other one as well. I mean, I mean, look how this is struggling to reach the 100 kilogram mark. But this is only one wing. There is no ground effect yet. So this is actually quite on track. We are struggling to have no lift on the front. Oh my god. These cars weren't set up great. So I suppose that's not the worst thing. But let's add some more understeer back in. Oh! Perfecto mundo. But as long as we keep these cars even, that's about the only thing that particularly matters. And with that, all right, this is car number one done. Let's go ahead and see what it actually does around automation test track. We'll just try to even out these times a little bit as well. Two minutes flat. That's actually really good for a car with not a whole lot of downforce. Wow, I can 
barely see this thing with the amount of brightness. But let's go ahead and export it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate oh, this entire thing. That'll give us the tires we need right off the bat, which should be exactly the same. Only difference is this body. Yep, remove all of the decals, all that sort of stuff. That's fine by me. We are, however, going to use a new engine. This is going to be the... BRM P142. God, it's gonna feel so good to make a new engine for Formula One again. It's been so long. Ugh, everyone just uses that goddamn Cosworth engine. Oh no, there's no boring stroke stuff. Damn it. Uh, it seems that we have 74.6 and 57.2. And look at that, it's Exacto Mundo on three liters. Nice. Apparently 450 horsepower at 10,750. Uh, ooh, okay. This one has a smidgen more power, I think. Hold on. Nope, it actually has less power. Okay, then. I suppose that explains why his results were nowhere near as good. <laughs> and lots of retirements towards the end of the year. Wow, in the movie Rush, they play it out that Hunt is like a reckless driver that barely finishes. But here we've got all of this retirement. Like, clearly Lauda was the one that was harder on his car. Either way, let's go ahead and just put together the most amazing car possible. This one should rev a little bit easier as well, considering that the internals will be smaller for each individual part. And let's give our engine a listen. <laughs> that sounds so good. Oh my God, that is deafening. Ouch. Have I got the wrong body selected? Wait, what's happening? Yep, I got the wrong body selected. There we go. Now we've got the right body selected and all oh, the tires are doing their thing. Ah, uh, yes, okay. That's what happened. Because we were doing weird things, the uh, wheels didn't exactly know what to do. <laughs> this is very strange. Interesting. They had wider tires and they were still worse. Louder, you suck. I shouldn't actually say that. Louder is still alive. And I don't want to upset an old man. All right, that is most of the car done immediately. We're just gonna move that engine a smidge because this engine isn't quite the same as the other one. Now, unlike the other one, this one actually had a proper paint job. So we're gonna go ahead and actually give it the proper paint job along like the way it was like, yay. See, I do a thing. Gonna have that like stained off white sort of color because white was apparently too hard to make. And then this is just going to be Marlboro Red. Except as you can see here, it's not really bright, is it? Then in here, we've got once again, another little bit of a vent. Look at these little details I've put in just for you guys. Aren't I so nice to you? And let's go put some aero on it. Now, if you have a look here, it seems about the same width as the tire. But then again, this one looks different. This is Nikki Lauders. And no, yep, no, that is about right. It is actually a lot higher than the other wing, but here it shows it lower. Which one is right? It is very hard to tell. God, these guys would have been so happy when they found out about Grand Effect. Is that, this, that's not a seat. That's a bit of metal. Oh God damn, that would have been brutal. I don't think I could have done <laughs> Formula Wacken back in that day. My God, my back would be destroyed. Okay, let's start constructing the rear end, much like the other car. That exhaust looks so stupid, but unfortunately there's just nothing I can do about it. All right, now we got, uh, I, I don't know what I've got. What have I got here? Got some sort of like, large dildo and then some ventilation here luckily we've got just the right shape i keep track of all my dildo shaped appliances and because it's very big we have to make it black as well hey don't say i'm don't don't call me out for this one it's what they've done i i still don't know what they've done looks good to me i suppose then we've got all of this scaffolding down here and i think ta-da we've done an okay job what are those mirrors? What the hell? Oh, here we've got some more normal ones, thank God. But then having a look from the rear, that is so strange. Okay, let's focus now on downforce, which is a bit weird. I'm gonna try to create about 100 kilos on the rear. Oh, at 100%, we are just getting there. Then a whole bunch of angle on the front. Apparently, we can't. How much lift are we creating? Is that? That's not right. We just can't create the sort of downforce we want. What the hell? All right, let's fudge the numbers by making this thing extra big. God damn, there is something wrong with the error calcs. Like, this is not correct. Okay, here we're creating about one point, yeah, basically nothing. And the rear is creating about 53. Why is the rear not creating enough now? What does Test Track reckon this will do? This is not gonna be good, is it? A 204. 
Oh, very close. I think what I might do, though, is play with these numbers a bit. You know, make it a little bit more even. So we're going to reduce the cam profile and then increase the exhaust diameter to get that power back. So then that way we'll have a little bit more torque, but this right amount of power. That'll help overcome with the fact that this thing is a little bit heavier. So 204.25. We're slower. God damn it! Hmm, I'm pretty sure Shiny Odd is a better driver than me too. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Brakes, we can put brakes on. This thing needs brakes, apparently. Jesus. All right, let's see what that does to the time now. Now it should be much faster. 20458? 20163. There we go. We knocked off three seconds by just not having terrible brakes. I'm noticing we are getting oversteer now. Let's reduce our front camber then. Let's see how it goes around here. Oh, it's faster! Spicy meatball! So let's undo this whole engine bodge job I did. And our time now is... Exactly the same. Good! Oh my god, I'm going deaf! Oh my god. All right, so the V12 is considerably louder, but oh god. Oh, 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 everything is wrong. Everything is very, very wrong. Ah, uh, lots of lockups all around. Oh, goodness gracious, this is oh, not very elegant at all. I am way over here. <laughs> and let me turn the engine off. You can still hear it. Oh, God, that is not going to be great. Let's have a look at the collision mesh. What is happening here? Oh, my God, it is a huge mess. But let's make sure... At the very oh yep no everything is touching the ground great so that's going to be affecting our ability to handle yeah we're going to have to fix this before we test it oh my god what is happening well if we have a look here we can see that nothing should be scraping so i think we're going to test it <laughs> Boy. oh my god i am gonna go deaf this is insane all right all right all right i'm turning my headset down hopefully <laughs> Hopefully now uh, it's not so bad for you guys. Oh god. Oh god, lots of understeer. Oh dear goodness gracious. And immediately when it hits idle, it goes back to like ear rapingness. Oh god. This is not good. Oh please. Please, devs, I need you to fix this. Please. Oh, God, it's so bad. Oh, 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 it just locks up on the front way too easily as well. Here we go at about 275. It should take this at full speed. Nope, 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 nope. Understeer, understeer. Oh, God, no. Dear, oh, damn. Oh, my God, this thing is so pleasant to, like, have. Oh, it's so good. So good, Essie, And then... Oh, you know what? Actually, it's not handling quite so bad as what I first initially thought. Maybe I was just trying to be too rough on the car. But bring it down here and then let's just pause. 200 kilometers an hour. Is it touching? No, it is actually not touching. So what's actually touching is the exhaust. But all I have to do is just move the nodes. So I think we're pretty good here. Let's test to see how this thing does under braking turning. Oh, God, it jiggles way too much. This one is clearly the harder one to fix. But you know what? It's actually pretty good on the air. Exit of the corner. Ah, okay, back on the track, please. Wow, this thing oversteers way too much with power oversteer. Goodness gracious. Now, just to let you guys know, I have no control over that collision mesh. That um is automated. I have no override abilities or anything like that. That is just how it's going to be forever. So if you guys like say, oh, your body breaks from VMNG, it's not my fault. I have no control over that. But here we go. We're coming up to Slingshot now. We're at uh, about the same sort of speed. About 270. And understeer. Oh, okay. Oh, bugger. Okay. Yep. Oh, oh, dear. If you've seen my previous videos on F1 cars, I'll go over this a whole bunch of different times. But specifically, you may want to look at this exact video. But for now, I'm, just, I'm, I'm going to do this in my own time. I'm going to turn the recording off so I don't have a million hours of recording this stuff oh god after a like almost an entire day's work of me fiddling with these things and thanks also to shiny odd that we were able to get some like a uh, custom sounds done Th this one was just too ear bleeding i needed to do something you'll also notice that i've cleaned up the meshes oh, a fair decent amount we've not uh, made it 100 percent but we don't need to make it 100 percent most things here are pretty good but before we go to shiny odd there's one little thing i want to show you check this out oh god i did not mean for this to do that but did you see that did you catch it watch again watch the front tires 
<laughs> it does a wheelie! Oh god, that's amazing! Oh yeah, I also put my new livery making skills uh, to use and made myself a livery. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best livery, but... I think it looks pretty freaking awesome. It is a little bit jank. As you can see here, there's like a bit of a weird thing that happens, which I've only just noticed right now. Also, here's a thing which I'm going to call not a bug, but a feature is if we go around like long corners like that, you'll notice that it starts to chug out oil smoke. That's because at some point, for some reason, this thing just started to cause that sort of issue. But with the amount of DNFs that uh, he actually ended up with, I don't feel bad with it doing it. There you go, you got the warning! Yeah, we got the warning! Nice, cool. It, uh, it, it sometimes does it a lot worse than this. But, oh, well, whatever. Well, let's go see Shiny Odd. How do you like my cars? Uh, they're very interesting looking. Interest? Oh, that's... Oh, I thought they looked special. <laughs> I can see all the, the bad triangular reflections on my on my scoop. That's 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 not setting me off. Yeah, what the hell? I actually fixed that. Why is that back? What that? God damn it! Oh my god, it's very understeer and shaky. But there we go. Well, that's what the cars very were. They, shaky. they didn't have a lot of downforce, and yeah, the shakiness is not something I can really do a lot about. And yeah, I, I, they would be very understeer. These skinny ass tires and no no downforce to them overturn themselves. Well, the I funny thing the is, is I think this car has... Uh, actually, it, does, it has wider front tires, but yet understeers more. Okay, I see where the braking roughly is anyway. At least this gives me a chance to do a test lap, because I have no idea what to expect of these. You Pulse seem to button. be... <laughs> oh! Holy shit. All right, well, there's a good demonstration of what not to do, at least. Let me test. Let me check this recording and <laughs> just see. Holy shit. I, I, I tabbed over to your car just when that happened. Yep. It was going so well until then. So you seem to be a Hunt fan, not a Lado fan? Uh, I do like Hunt, and I like the Heskers. I've sat on the Heskers before. Um, really? Uh, this, this particular one. Yeah, this particular one. Uh, that Silverstone Classic. I have, uh, I've sat, it's, a, it's a, such a cool car. It's so basic with that. Like, the new sponsors. It's very slick, simple livery. It's a very... And a massive, obviously, big intake on the back. It's, uh, it's very distinct, despite the fact that a lot of F1 cars have similar design traits of the same uh, era. So yeah, it's a very cool car. I've always very much liked and I liked Hunt and his attitude to racing was just sex over racing. So uh, that's, that's always very, he was always a very interesting character. I like, I like him. I really do. Yeah, so it's, he's, very much. he's cool. I like the story. So um, I, I, I like, I like the Heskers, the whole story, but the whole background behind the team. It's fantastic. Well, I mean, if you like the Hesketh, well, then don't watch Rush because they don't actually use the oh, yeah. March. Do you like the livery uh, that I've done on the louder car? Uh, yeah, very much. Yeah, I like it just cancer on the front because of cigarettes. That's always yeah. useful. <laughs> Condoms and cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, literally, yeah. Sure, there was the Durex car in like the mid 70s also, wasn't there? I can't remember was what, what team that was. Yeah, it was a Durex sponsored car. Uh, I'm sending it to you. There you go. Isn't it beautiful? Is that you? Are you in that? <laughs> Oh, the deer. Oh, okay. I think I have to make that. <laughs> <laughs> My it's quite excellent. So, uh, Jimmy Broadbent and Super GT got a chance to drive it and they made videos on it, which was uh, very Oh, is that cool. the one they, they took around the, the go-kart go track? Uh, yes, it is. It was the Jurex car. I didn't see that it had condom livery on it. <laughs> well, I've got the Cancer Mobile and you've got the, uh, I mean... They could have called that the cancer mobile, considering that nobody was able to win with that. They thought that car was broken and flawed. But then Hunt comes along and just goes, you know what? No, I'm just going to drive like better than you. And ends up finishing eighth. <laughs> and louder I'm after being... <laughs> this was Lauda's third year in Formula One and finished, I think, in 13th, which is way behind Hunt. Yeah. If people thought that it was close between Lauda and Hunt, it wasn't. It really, really wasn't. Hunt was just the better driver, in my opinion, at least. <laughs> well, do you want to do a uh, three-lap sprint, take the long track? Ah, uh, yeah, we can do it all three laps sprint if you want. That would be good. It gets us a chance to warm up and get to learn the cars. So the rules for the race are basically, if you crash, you have to wait until you're completely stopped before you can reset and go. If Understandable. You cut any corners, you then have to come to a complete stop, give it a one count, and then take off again. All right, one second penalty, stop, go. Got it. Yeah, we're just still having, like copious amounts of alcohol before the race just to get through it so uh, oh <laughs> yeah they, they would do that they would legitimately just get Here completely it smoke shit a whole paid. fucking packet and then get in the car what do you mean what are you talking about no they'd smoke a packet in the car 
Oh yeah, actually, yeah, true. Of course. I mean, what? Why not? Really? You know, it's a more of a question of. <laughs> it's a. It's the competition will like start before the race even does. Like, who's gonna smoke the most? Three, two, one, go. Go. Oh my oh, god! Wow. I did like a small wheelie off the line. There was yes. so much grip. That that go. thing does actually do wheelies. Uh, oh my god! You are so turn one immediately. much faster Holy than me. Shit. I, I right, didn't realize uh, how much faster that thing was. Nearly hit the back of you there. Managed to slow yeah. it down. Can <laughs> I get around corners? The answer is no. No, shit. Oh, not for you either. Oh, no. Yep, no, I've lost my wheels. Have to come to a stop. Reset and off I go again. Damn it. Now, how long will I last? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> if you lock this up the hell. rear... If you lock up the rear tires, the next time you put the accelerator on, it will clutch dump you and send you sideways. Oh. That's, right, that's just how PNG works. <laughs> also, oh my God. Lada got a whole bunch of DNFs with his car, uh, especially towards the end of the season. Like they were racing against each other in these cars. So, um, this car, every time you corner really hard, it starts burning oil and gets oil starvation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, well that designed. is so much faster. You are? They're well designed. <laughs> The car's oh my God. longer about as bad as the drivers. You are so much faster. Oh my God, you are gone. Apart from the vibrations, I'm doing okay. Do you want to take over making these mods and make them shake less? Because I don't. <laughs> I've spent yeah, a lot that, of time. That sounds like a bit of a pain, not gonna lie. I, I have spent many a days trying to figure out how to fix the shake issue. <laughs> and no, just can't do it. I think it. it's just a flimsy collision. Oh no! I've lost it! Ah! Oh thank god. Jesus. I've held it. We're good. I've brought it really? back around again. Come on. Ah, shoot. <laughs> My skinny ass understeering front tires are good at flicking it back when you're going in reverse, so uh, not to worry. Good I'm Jake gonna... mobile. Oh I'm fuck me, I've lost it again! <laughs> Short wheel base, uh, motherfucking... Help. <laughs> yeah, they they would have in like incredibly short wheelbases. Oh shit! One, no, that's go. one. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I've just started going. <laughs> this isn't so much a race, but like, who's not? It. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Small man. ball syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> it is problematic, and I see you understeering now. Oh no! I did yeah, exactly yeah. the same thing. No, I'm going yeah, to the, the map. Just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've, oh, I've broken Jesus. my steering. I have to come to a stop and reset. Oh there my go. god. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm off on the street. I don't know why I held that, but we're all together now. Another you know box of cigarettes. Since you're going. recording, I think I might just cut to your screen and cut a few corners <laughs> and pretend like it never <laughs> happened. Hey, it's the 70s. What can't you get away with? I'm in the oh, fucking shit. pits. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. I'm in the fucking pit lane. No. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm out again, you? but. I, d I might have not made that corner very well. <laughs> All right, on to the the third lap of however many laps the sprint is. Three. Oh, uh, oh, Three's excellent final to. lap. All yeah. right, great. I don't like my chances of being able to catch up to you. <laughs> but that would explain. You got a big old corner cut at turn two. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut away. They won't notice. Uh, I have no choice. I am cutting it, but only because I'm drifting <laughs> sideways and starving in the engine of oil. <laughs> oh, you're drifting? You're actually getting a slide going? It can't Sometimes. be me. Couldn't be me. Have you noticed that one of the flames of this car is coming out of the fucking axles? <laughs> really? I have yeah. not noticed. If you were to watch the smoke coming out of the back of this one, the part particulates, you'll notice that it, um, one of them is really wobbly and just kind of flails oh around. Like the, uh, the wacky... Hose thingy, snake thing. Wacky racers. <laughs> no, my God, oh, that was such extension. a perfect American accent, just that. Uh, oh, was it? Oh, I'm so insulted. <laughs> oh, and around the final corner. No! Ah, it's shit. going to be James Cunt Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> and he's had a massive accident in true 70s fashion. Uh, I think we'll switch cars around. And we'll give it a try the other way around. So then you yeah, see his driver's skill, or if it's just the cars are just falling apart. Oh my god! Oh dear. Two, one, go. Oh, there's yep. the wheelie from the Hesketh, and you've yeah. got a striking lead already. Yep, yeah, the Hesketh of the uh, the march is much faster. <laughs> it's very quick. Let's see how much I can keep up, though. 
Oh, slight bit of lawn mowing <laughs> and wall tapping. Ah, oh, it hit me! What? No, I didn't. Not on my screen. On my end, it did. Okay, get it going again. <laughs> There's no lag. I don't know what you're talking about. You're only like how much? How much <laughs> ping right, do you Australian have? Australian ping. I've got 350. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. No. This race is far from over. I have white smoke coming out. My engine's starving of oil. <laughs> this thing is a piece of shit. <laughs> it very much is. No, I'm d oh my god. Now I know what you're talking oh, about with the spin out. It's had a bit of a wibbly wobbly. <laughs> yeah, but into the lead it's so we much go faster. With I could just catch up. Engine start of oil. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> it just chugs the smoke, doesn't it? It does indeed. Oh, if I'm you're like getting understeer, just lift off the accelerator and it just immediately pulls back into line. I'll keep note of that. I'm, I'm just going to swap the footage around and make it look as if I'm the one that's going fast. <laughs> <laughs> just use my footage from the last round if you can just pretend it's yours. <laughs> I, I, you're winning in that. Heskiz, how are you doing that? <laughs> Oh my god, you are pulling away once again. You are the faster driver. Damn, bro. I am Mr. Hunt. I, I remember when we did the Group C, like, Except I had I'm the not faster in this race. car. My, my car was faster. Yeah, uh, it's as, just a death as trap. proven by other people. <laughs> it's just, you were so much of a faster driver than me, and I was so jealous because it's <laughs> just like. Your car's damn. lap time was pretty fat, just a little inconsistent. Mine was more consistent, oh, but mine, uh, not Mine as fast. was horrible. Damn it! Indeed, around again! Yeah. Do you know it's been a year since that Group C thing already? Or like 11 months? Jesus Is Christ. Really? Time goes by scarily quickly. Yeah. PBR Damn, gonna... update wasn't even out yet. My Group C car did not have PBR. It was my last non-PBR car. That's how really? long ago it was. Yeah. I'm going to have to run another one. God damn it, I've gone around again. I'm... <laughs> I'm cheating a little bit by just resetting immediately. <laughs> uh... Do you know what I got to say about the BRM though? As much as, yes, I know, it's quite far ahead, and we'll ignore that for the moment. <laughs> it drives better. It does have the all starvation problems, though. But I feel it drives nicer. But it's definitely a bit slower in the straights. It and is. And in cornering, it blows itself the bits. I, but I, I think it's more consistent it's... on turn. It's a little less understeery, uh, like, scariness. On the Hesketh, the understeer, and you're worried about it snapping on the exit sometimes. But this yeah. isn't so bad, actually. I'm okay with this. It, it still does have the oversteer issue of, like, the short wheelbase. Though it is oh, course, ever so typically. slightly longer. Like... Only yep, a smidgen. I noticed that. It's like, I think, less than 10 centimeters longer, but uh, somehow weighs 100 kilograms more. Huh, okay. The, the understeer, when you like lift off, it like pulls back into line, is crazy. Yep. It's like, oh, traction to the front tires? Okay, I'll go where you're telling me to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, once again, you've pulled away from me like crazy. Yeah, I'm just ignoring all the old starvation notices now, and I'm just yeah. giving it full pelt in the corners, letting myself become Thomas the Tank as I go for every single long <laughs> right and left hander turn. Yeah, I don't know what I did that caused that, but it's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, it's weirdly unique of a character trait, at least. I can give it that. And my it exhausts are now coming out of the end of my side pods. <laughs> <laughs> Not very strong exhausts on this car. No, very wibbly wobbly. The left one is much But it doesn't matter as wobbly. I ride the final corner and the win is to the car that shouldn't have won. God damn, bro. How and it's flipped you? from doing a 360. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yo. Well, since you like that one, do you want to do the old forgotten racetrack? The old forgotten. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Do you please inform me on what the it old forgotten racetrack is. It is a time trail on this map. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. Default. I see. And then... Oh, shit! Oh, God! <laughs> you demolished me! Oh, my... Right. That didn't go to plan, did it? Turn All right, right, so more crash hazards. Ah, I'm demonstrating the crash hazard. I've been in a <laughs> pole on front flipping. And then back onto the straight... What the f... What? Just, how did that even... You just, you just flew into the side of the screen and absolutely demolished yourself into a fence. <laughs> also, this time, can I ask you to be not so amazing? <laughs> uh, well, on this track, y you know, it, you might get your wish. <laughs> oh, God. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to drive as nice and slowly and grandma-like as possible. Then I won't spin a million times like I normally do, and hopefully you will. Oh, oh God! <laughs> you kind of, like, edged me out a little bit wide, and then I understood more start? than what I thought. <laughs> God, nice if I was beside you, you would have done it again. Did you just fly? <gasps> no, that science fiction movie. I no, no, went no, the wrong, wrong way. way. Wrong way. <laughs> I'm, I'm... 
<laughs> personal problems. Oh my ah. god. Oh You'll my god. You'll only be making a right. Did you spin around again? Thank yep. god, at least I'll be allowed to lead for a couple of corners until I spin again. And again. And again. I'm used to going across the track and doing the course that way and going into the woodlands. Um, because ah. that has like the extra chicane in it. So ah. I'm used to doing that layout and not going up here. <laughs> I That's don't really know the layout in which you speak. I've I've done this it's, like uh, a couple of very, times. It's it it's um very easy actually. You just you just follow that road. You go straight. See the road you're passing now. Yeah. You come in from the left there. You just oh, sweep okay. through. Yeah, yeah. I think it's um, better because it incorporates the slow speech you can. Ah! I'm getting out of it in these cars. You're gonna be a pain in the ass. And I've crashed. Oh shit! Not again. Ah. No weenies, please. No. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna repair. I think I have the lead. Yeah. My God, you are like I am not slow right now. I'm actually going at a pretty decent speed, and you are catching me so goddamn fast. You have gravity turned oh. up. <laughs> uh, ah, oh, I don't want to hit the back of you. Holy shit, I've went wide. No! How did that work out? No! Oh, damn it. Ah, he's no! in the fence. Damn it, damn it. No! That was my only chance in my, uh, maybe being able to win. Your moment of glory. If only I had held on to that for one more lap. No, 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 what the hell? What was that understeer? I just got like, mahoosive amounts of understeer and now it's taking forever to change gears. There we go, nice and careful. Stay on the curb here and then get off of it all no. a bit squirrely. No, I understeered. <laughs> oh, I'm dead! Fuck! Oh good, okay, that means I win because you DNF due to death. Oh yeah, yeah, understandable. Die not Oh finish. my god, get go I can't get going again because he keeps wheeling and I can't straighten it. <laughs> this is so bullshit, there we go. I had a darker they, one planned. They say helmets are protections, but aren't you meant to wear a condom over your helmet? Uh, we keep talking about the condom car, and yet we don't uh, have one. <laughs> I have crashed again, by the way. I will make the condom car, god damn it! <laughs> hey, it might offer you some extra protection. I'm driving crazily <laughs> to try to catch up to you, and it's just not working out for me. Under breaking, throw it in, sliding, 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 death, survival. Those are both the same thing. <laughs> I tried to cheat and I stopped it up! <laughs> that was, that was an incredible time. view from me. <laughs> there was all of a sudden, Mr. Louder, straight in your fucking pole. <laughs> well, now you know the track layer, and it still wasn't enough! Because coming up to the final corner, it's it. Mr. Hunt once again! You if you can make so it round. You are so much faster than me! God, God damn it! So this is technically me crossing the finish line, right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yep. Oh, and I, uh, that's what you need the condom for. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't make the corner. All right, uh, switch cars and do your track? Uh, yeah, that can be done very much. I, I have to ask, are you cheating in some way? Because, oh my God, you are so fast. <laughs> I, I guess I'm just used to driving shit cars. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Oh, didn't There's get that much of a wheel that time. There goes. Oh. Oh, wow. This is actually a lot more stable. Okay, on that. my end, you're now carrying your rear tire, and it's very entertaining looking. Oh, dear. <laughs> uh, you didn't touch me on my screen. No, we're good. I'm trying not to touch you, no! now. Oh, 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 what oh, the hell? Oh, oh, what a collision. Why have you done this? Oh, my for the love is that of God. the only way you can win cheating? Yeah, that's that's uh, <laughs> a real Max Verstappen overtake I've just done there. <laughs> and we go. No! Ooh, what the, the hell? Pole? How did I understeer that much? <laughs> it's no turn. <laughs> I've just very cleanly removed my rear left wheel. I'm in a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I went the wrong side of a pole. I just very, very neatly removed it and kept driving. I, I feel that this thing is a little bit more stable going over uh, rises. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, just, going over that ridge, that car doesn't actually lift off. This one does a little bit. Kind of scary. Oh, it, it does. Um, I actually was testing them on other tracks, and going over ridges, <laughs> they will both hideously lift off the front end at speed going over ridges. Oh, I just became a fudge wrapper. <laughs> what? A fudge well, wrapper? long, thin, full of nothing, and wrinkled. Oh, come <laughs> Pretty on! Pretty much. What the What's hell? How do you make here? that corner? Honestly, well, every single time I crashed I've gone before over it, so I was only doing about 40 going through it. That's that's why. <laughs> but even last time, like every single time I've gone through that section, I just understeer gotcha, like the car slower. has no front tires. 
So I think I have to brake, like, way before I need to, just so then I can have traction on the front when I need it. Come on! Bruh, I have been outskilled. Majorly. Being very <laughs> careful to hold on to this. <laughs> oh, I'm losing it! Oh, I saved it. Hi! God. No! Shit. Great. Welcome home! <laughs> oh my god. I do not have anything on my front. No. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. You have to watch this. Are you watching? Yeah, I'll see right. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, starving of oil! <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Alright. Oh, seems like a skill issue, not gonna lie. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I seem to have a rear toe issue at the moment, helping do the burnouts. But uh, thanks for joining us, Shiny Yard, and I'll catch you. Oh, you know what? This weekend to do the podcast. All right, but, yeah, uh, no problems. We'll be we got to do another big race together. Get all of the creators together. Except nobody's making automation content at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's only me, Vens, and Ruben at the moment making content for automation. Well, here is about where I'm actually going to end up leaving this episode. I was gonna do some driving around the Monaco GP circuit to put down a time for that one. Unfortunately, this episode is just dragged on for so long. I think I'm gonna have to do that in like a pickup kind of half episode. Maybe I'll put that into a stream sometime after this video actually goes live and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, this was a really fun video to make. I loved making these cars and I really, I, you have have to try these cars out. They are just as jank as what the real cars were like in real life sort of thing. I don't know all of the details, especially with these cars being so like poorly documented, especially this like Hethka special from uh, March. It was just so crazy and out there. I will have these up on the BMG repository for you guys to try on your own. But for now, I'll catch you all next time. Mm, goodbye.